So what we want to do now is create a new page at the head of our document that will be an unnumbered page. We don't want that page to be page one. We want uh, our page with Adobe Garamond Pro to be page one. So in order to do that, first we have to create the new page. So in our Pages panel, we choose Insert Pages. And we want to insert one page at the start of the document. And we want it to be based on none, because we just want a blank page. And we click OK. And now we see we have a blank page here. And um, if we want to uh, put our table of contents on it, we can just grab that and cut it and go ahead and paste it on that page so we can see how that's going to work. Um, but we really don't want that to be page one. We want Garamond Pro to be page one. And in order to make that an unnumbered page, what we have to do is go into numbering and section options. So first uh, we'll keep that selected. With that page selected in the Pages panel, we go to the Pages panel menu and we choose Numbering and Section Options. And automatic page numbering is turned on. And what we're going to do is change this to something else like ABCD because InDesign will not let us have two page ones in the same document. So we're going to go ahead and choose ABCD for the style and click OK. And notice that changed our whole document and that's really not what we want. So now we're going to choose this first page which is our Garamond Pro page and once again go to numbering and section options and leave this checked which says start section so we're going to change uh, the style back to 1234 and choose start page numbering at page number one and click OK. And that's just perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now uh, in the break between these two videos I went ahead and typed in titles on the rest of my 10 pages. So when I refresh my table of contents here Okay, I'm just going to create a new table of contents here and get rid of the old one. And notice now that all of my 10 pages are listed. One thing that is missing is I want those dots, those tab leaders, and we have to go and edit the style. TOC text. So let's go to our paragraph styles and double click on TOC text so that we can edit that style. And uh, we just go to tabs here. It, strangely enough, it doesn't matter where you click here. Let's select preview so we can see what we're doing. Um, just click anywhere in this tab ruler and then in the, sec the box that says leader click into this box and just click a uh, period and a space. Type a period and a space and click OK. And there we go. Our tab leaders are in. We can go to preview. We can take a look at this and if we want we can go back and edit our styles to our heart's content. For example, if I decided I didn't want my TOC text to be in that blue color, fine. I can just go back to um, character color and change that back to black and click OK. So the only thing that remains before we are ready to export this as an interactive PDF or print it on whatever printer we have available is to fill this little box with some kind of a personal logo or icon or you could even use a photograph. So we want that to appear on every page, so we're going to go back to Master Page A. 
and um, I'm going to choose this little frame. Notice I'm on A Master and I don't want it to have the blue fill anymore. So uh, making sure my fill box is on top, I'm going to choose paper and my frame, my little frame is selected there. So I'm going to go to File, Place. And you can use whatever you want, any graphics file that you want that will look good in a small size. I created a little icon of a fleur-de-lis uh, from one of my Adobe Illustrator tutorials. And make sure that you put this in your project folder, whatever your little um, graphics file is. And select that and just click Open. And then you can go to Object, Fitting, Fill Frame Proportionally. And there we go. Now that should appear on all of my document pages because it was a master page item. So all that remains now is to either print our document or export it as an interactive PDF. And that will be explained in the final concluding video in this series.